talk about the elephant in the room. This is something everybody is feeling, and maybe a lot of people are talking about it, but it's also kind of just gotten overused in our psyche, and that is crisis. Like we're just exhausted, and we're at our ends, and yet we still have to keep going, because the only way that we can get through all of this is to get through it, to choose this path and to keep going. I want to tell you a really funny story. It's only funny now. At the time, it wasn't. And what's funny is the crazy cycle. Being able to see it for what it was at the time and being grateful and elated that I no longer am in that crazy cycle. A few years ago, I went through a personal health crisis. And as I was going through it, I did what a lot of people do, is we rationalize. We think, you know, it's not that bad. I still got this. This is what I can do. There, we compartmentalize and we rationalize. And that's exactly what I was doing. I was going through this crisis. It was getting worse and worse and worse. And it took some months for it to get to this peak where I was pretty well out of commission. I mean, completely unable to walk from my bedroom to my front door. And during that time, I had a lot of good support from my family and from my friends, and they knew that what I needed was that connection. I could not lose connection with people. My dearest best friend, she came to take me on a walk. Now, this was going to be a very ambitious project, a really ambitious thing to do because walking wasn't necessarily something I was able to do. I was too weak um, and really not able to, to walk really far. But she was like, let's just, let's just go, you know, maybe like 15, 20 feet up the sidewalk. She was coming over and I wanted to show her that I was good, that I could do this, that I was able to, to actually walk, that I was strong and capable, and that this crisis, this, this health thing, it had nothing on me. I was going to persevere. And so she shows up, you know, I'm, I'm barely holding it together, but I'm like excited to see her. She's like, all right, let, let's, let's walk out. Let's take it easy and walk. And, and I had her wait for me because it occurred to me that what I needed was a pair of earrings because I hadn't put on, I hadn't put on my earrings, y'all. So I went to the bathroom where my jewelry cabinet is and put on a pair of earrings to go on a walk with my best friend. Okay. We do crazy things when we're in crisis. We try to compensate for all the expectations that crisis came in and threw out the window because that is the one thing that crisis does. Whether your expectations are spoken or unspoken, crisis comes in, crumbles it all up and tosses it out. And we don't know what to do. And so we grasp. We grasp for things. Maybe we overeat. Maybe we overdrink. Maybe we overwatch TV. Maybe we don't move. Maybe we cry. Maybe we delve ourselves into work. Somehow we do this thing that we try to prove to ourselves and the world and our best friends that we got this. Maybe we do. Maybe we do for the most part even. But you know, is it not true that crisis comes in and destroys or threatens to attack our alignment where we no longer know exactly what's up and down, what our skills and strengths are, what our mission and vision is, what our capabilities are, how far we can go, how far we have come. We forget all of that and we don't forget it totally, but we're out of alignment. So one of the most important things that you can do during crisis is to remind yourself of who you are, what you are capable of, acknowledge the gap between what it is that you thought it was going to be and the reality of what is. That gap 
of what you thought it was going to be, which is all of your expectations, spoken or unspoken, which is not even a bad thing. Speak your expectations, align them with your actions, but there's so many of them that are unspoken. And the reality of where you are, that gap right there, acknowledge that and allow yourself to move through the things that are happening. And sometimes you'll move through them slower. Sometimes, very often, I don't know why this is, we move through them with less money, uh, with, with less time, sometimes with less people, and it makes it that much harder. But who you are and what you are capable of is not defined and directed by crisis. Crisis takes everything and kind of does away with it, throws things out of alignment, but it doesn't get to dictate who you are and what is important to you. What I learned and why I tell the story about me grabbing my earrings when I could barely put, you know, 10 steps one in front of the other is because it makes me smile to think that even when I was just miserably unwell, I still wanted to be put together. I still thought that being presentable was important. And I smile at that because it reminds me of my heritage and it reminds me of the women in my family. And it reminds me of my grandmothers and how they were strong and how they used little things to remind themselves of who they are and what they're capable of and how they can persevere. And I think that that is important. And it also reminds me that it's important to have people around you who can call you on your, you know, on your stuff, who can say, be, just, just let it go for one minute. Just, just be good at being unwell and get through this and then you'll put your earrings back on. Both of those things at the same time, while they seem in conflict with each other, are so important. And I'm so grateful that I got to learn that lesson in these personal crises. I don't know what I'm learning from this, from all of this that's happening in the world. All of us are having personalized lessons in all of this, personalized experiences. And for that, I am grateful. So be kind to yourself, pay attention to what's coming up for you. Um, if you need to throw on a pair of earrings to walk 10 steps, do it. If you, uh, you know, need to grab an extra donut to walk those 10 steps, do that. My point is do what you need to do, but do it with awareness and kindness and respect of yourself and those around you.